time for our homework assignment. Uh, your assignment for this week was oh, <laughs> and the groans are starting. It was you can find it legally over at WWE Network. I'm sure it's a bunch of other places too. From the Great American Bash, the not the Greensboro Hidden Gems, the Great American Bash. It was the Fantastics against the Midnight Express with uh, one Jim Cornette in the shark cage and in the straight jacket. I love that he also needed to be in the straight jacket. Was this, I wonder if this is after they already did a cage where he got out or something. Sword. Um, you can never be too careful. Sword. Before we get to that, before anything is said on this, I want to I um, prerequisite this in this discussion. In reference to Jim Cornette, because I know there's people that have uh, uh, thoughts on Jim Cornette. Mm-hmm. I want people to disqualify what he said lately on his podcast or Twitter. We were talking about 1988 Jim Cornette, Cornette as a wrestling um, personality, not yeah. Yeah. Dark Side of the Ring Jim Cornette, not <laughs> podcast fair, Twitter. I, I think he still is 1988. Jim. I, 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 know, <laughs> I know, I know. He just has more of a platform now. Yeah. Can, he, uh, can I start the, out by the, saying uh, things changed around uh, him, Ronnie? Sorry, Rob, I didn't mean to cut you yeah, off. No, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I just want to start off by saying, as a wrestling manager, Jim Cornette is one of the greatest wrestling managers mm. in pro wrestling history. Uh, his mannerisms, the way he conducted himself, you know, he was probably the most entertaining part of that whole goddamn piece of shit match. <laughs> he and... was pulled up in a ball in the shark cage the whole time, Ronnie. He was and barely was... moving. All right, the first six minutes of him <laughs> arguing with the referee, leading up to them putting the street jacket on and putting him in the cage, him saying, "Take care of my jacket. My mama gave me that today, just mm-hmm. for today." Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> he was screaming for his mama as they raised the cage. Yeah, I was cracking up. I'm like, so, "All right, Jim Cornette so- is a great manager. The match, just in general, was awful." The ending was terrible. You drug a match on that long just so the dude can use brass knuckles? Like, mm-hmm. come on, man. But, it was- but the, the the whole, and again, like kind of Jim Cornette's antics kind, kind of raised raise a question to me where, um, like, I hear about it more happening with WWE and maybe later day, or, you know, kind of not end of days WCW, but late 90s WCW, where, where, um, did they? I wonder. Did they ever run late on shows or think like times run long? Uh, because a couple was, minutes. Because yeah, like you said with Cornette at the beginning of the match, he mugs for like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and but but the show itself, at least the version we see, it's like two and a half hours. Yeah, maybe. yeah. So they wouldn't have been pushing any sort of like three hour window or. And and, but, and and by the way, the entire cage setup is on this with yeah. bad overdub music. So yeah, yeah. Oh, that over that. Oh, that music. Skip guys, the entrances. It's, guys, it's guys. like mid eighties fart rock that just kind of. <laughs> it was <laughs> bad. Goes over it. Yeah. Um, guys, Mike, let me, let me tell you about a tag team match I saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that I greatly enjoyed. Yeah. Had um one one of the hottest young tag teams in the history of the sport. <laughs> <laughs> had one of wrestling's greatest managers and another tag team who was underrated in my opinion. Are you talking about Ocean? Uh, I saw the Rockers versus the Orient Express from Royal Rumble 91. Why would he be mm-hmm. talking about us? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, this, match, this match was a piece of shit. <laughs> it, was, it was just <laughs> fucking terrible. Like, no, it was. Oh my god. Like and again, I know I've said this before. What a WCW finish that was! <laughs> yeah, it was the, and they weren't like, even WCW yet. No. I don't think. No, they okay. weren't. No. Like, this is sad. Mm-hmm. This is so so and, sad. Like, and to kind of bring it home to the match before, like I was watching the whole show. Like this, this was what the U.S. tag belts, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the world the world tag was right before it, and the world tag in that match had like a total dusty finish. Like yep. it was a time, I think it was a time limit expired or yeah, or time limit draw, whatever, or something like that. So to have on the same show back to back, really screwy, you know, it's the, like that they had both tag matches back to back anyway, or tag title matches, and then to have have them both end in less than. Uh, clean yeah yeah <laughs> manner you know it's... yeah the, the one before was a time limit draw yeah because because nikita and sting were like putting on the belts 
And the mm-hmm. ref's like, no, no, no. You know? <laughs> well, so now you've had, <laughs> again, this second match where the, you know, the faces got screwed because somebody had a, you know, did the whole look, I'm wrapping a chain around, mm-hmm. <laughs> around my mm-hmm. hand. By the way, the presentation of the chain was nice. Yeah. Um, there, there's, and, go ahead. And then uh, the goofy ass cage match right after that. So it's, it's yeah. Can we talk a, about that instead? <laughs> oh no no no. no, 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 no. We will. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We will. Like we will. But first of all, climbing a triple cage. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get that. Hold off on that. We need to stay <laughs> yeah, stay on task, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I. What would the professor so, say if we were going off task like this? Exactly. He gave us an assignment to do. do oh, I'll, I'll tell the professor exactly what he can do with his task. Wow. The professor and I have heat, man. This is this is real heat. So, so other than that, I, 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 and I, I started discovering this as I started digging through like Smoky Mountain Wrestling when it started coming on the network and everything. I am mm-hmm. familiar with Jim Cornette as '90s WWF Jim Cornette, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, that that's quote unquote my Jim Cornette. Like I remember when he was coming in with a Yokozuna and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know this Jim Cornette that is the Mama's Boy. Mm-hmm. That so I. I this is new to me and enjoyable some, or at least curious, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, because you know, the whole, like, you know, what, what, was, what were you saying before the mom gave me that jacket last night or something, yeah. you yeah. know, and, 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 and I didn't have my cookies and milk last night or, or, and stuff like that. Like, this is fascinating. Um, um, Southern <laughs> persona <laughs> analysis <laughs> right here. Oh. Everyone hates their mothers. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you, you never you never saw Mask Cornet then, have you? Mask Cornet. What? No, no. He like I forget. It was like a you know. Was, I, I think he had his hair sh- head shaved or something after a match. And this is like this. And this is like earlier, like mid eighties. Well, I mean, this is late eighties, but it was it was Good even look. earlier where where he he wore a mask <laughs> for a while just because his head what? was shaved or something like that. Uh, totally so, so it popped up as a random like I was I don't know if it was something on the network or if it was one of the other like there's like this wrestling channel on Roku that shows just random shit where it's it just comes up and like Jim Cornette's wearing a mask and I'm like I got to see what this is about. <laughs> but but yes there was a short kind of like Remember when CM Punk wore a mask for like three weeks? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because he had his head shaved. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's yeah. like that where you would just see that and be like, "What is the? Yeah, when was this? You know." I, I love you. You like basically image search anything Cornette, and you get G Ravers T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's great. Yeah, a little stray sound effect there. Um, yeah. I... Oh, sorry, I feel like I got to jump in here. Oh, Matt, we didn't get okay. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go ahead, Matt. Okay. Oh, I've, let, I've, I've let the boys have their fun. Show, show All right. Jim Cornette. Evil, uh, evil Mirror <laughs> Universe oh, okay. uh, <laughs> mainstream Matt. I don't believe that T-shirt exists. Um, I'm coming oh, to the Mirror Universe to tell you all I like this match. Whoa! Okay? <laughs> I like this match. I'm going to need I, you to grow your beard back. The main reason so. that evil I like Matt. this evil match, match. <laughs> I have not been exposed very much to, if at all, to the Fantastics. I know literally mm-hmm. nothing about that. Mm-hmm. I fell in love with Tommy Rogers during this match. <laughs> I fell in love. I love him. And I want to see more. And um, after I saw him, you know, basically <laughs> compete for, what, 90% of this match before lazy-ass Bobby Fulton finally got in. <laughs> um, and, and he was I had to go and... Go ahead. I was going to say, and he's fascinating because he's the only guy in the match that's not a blonde with a mullet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I but can I mean, like, I, Yeah, I mean, just like... I don't know, he was doing all this cool stuff. He was doing, like, you know, flipping out of moves, and, mm-hmm. and I mean, it just looked awesome. Great drop, kick, I mean, all this great stuff. Um, so I really got into it. I went and I tried to look up more about him because I like, like I said, I know nothing about the Fantastics or Tommy yeah. Rogers. Yeah. And uh, come to find out that he's no longer with us, which is sad. But that um, uh, he he did some Japan and he actually was involved in the very early days of ECW. And if his Wikipedia is to be believed, um, <laughs> apparently Tommy Rogers may have invented the unprettier. Whoa! AKA the kill switch. The Tomic- so, the, the, the Tomikaze. Tomikaze. Yeah, yeah. Tomikaze. So, uh, Tommy F and Rogers uh, put this over the top for me. Sorg, you don't have to couch it. Jim Cornette in this time is a great <laughs> mm-hmm. wrestling mm-hmm. manager, a great yes. personality. Mm. The crowd hates him. The Mama's Boy stuff is great. Um, and uh, I even started to like Stan Lane a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> but you know. I, I didn't mind the finish as much as you guys did. <laughs> I just kind of watched it and I said, well, I guess they had to get the belts off these guys. And I also I want to say... I, I mistook 
the Fantastics with, I think, the Fabulous Ones, mm-hmm. which, which ironically is the team that Stan Lane was on before <laughs> the Midnight Express. So hey, it's hey Matt. So there was a crazy like, like 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 snake eating its own tail thing going on during yeah. this yeah. time yeah. period during the eighties where everyone's doing like derivatives of the Fabulous Ones and the Rock and Rolls and yeah. the Midnight Express, and they're just like repeating his stuff so it's just, you have like the fantastic ones and then you have the fantastics and you have the fabulous ones and you got yeah. the and then all this other stuff gets jumbled you got the rock and rolls and the rockers you got you know it's just it's a mess yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, matt, matt um what? if you want more tommy rogers mm-hmm. um i don't know if this exists on youtube his last match was in 2005 i believe it looks like royal rumble weekend it's a four on three handicap match. The Rock and Roll Express and the Fantastics mm. against the Midnight Express. Nice. Like all of them. But, yeah. It's, yeah. it's Ricky that, that... and Robert, Bobby and Tommy <laughs> against Bobby, Dez, Kadri, and Sweet Sam yeah. Lane. Because that, that list of Midnight Express, when I checked out that Wikipedia, was uh, deep. Uh, yeah. Rob, go ahead, Rob. <laughs> go ahead, Rob. Speaking, speaking of the Rockers, though, when you mentioned that, it's like, Again, to show how much of a knockoff each of these were, it's like the Rockers were originally the Midnight Rockers, mm-hmm. yeah. which is mm-hmm. the Midnight Express. And well, that's the because Rock- yeah. the Rockers <laughs> were in Smoky Mountain. Yeah, yeah. 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 Rockers just, were like, in, so it wasn't like a ripoff. It was it was Cornette ripping off his own stuff. Yeah, it was everything well, was like, Midnight it, Rock and Express. Through, there, are, there are three yeah. tag team gimmicks during the mid '80s, and you've got to get one version of it. They just like yeah. stir it all together, and yep. like whatever comes out, yep. you're going to get one version of this. Game. Yep. Oh yeah. um, anyway, wow. I even um, found a, uh, an old YouTube where, um, like, Rob Van Dam sits down and has, like, a little chat with uh, Tommy Rogers for, like, 10 minutes. It's really cool. You can tell, like, Rob actually respects mm-hmm. Tommy. And, and Tommy was, you know, living great, enjoying his life. He had moved to Hawaii. And, uh, you know, it, it's really cool to, like, have someone kind of, like, grab you like that. So, yeah, now I'm going to – I'll be off into a Tommy Rogers rabbit hole here soon. I, I, so I'm report looking back. at Tommy Rogers' match listings on Cage Match. Mm-hmm. Um, Tommy Rogers had a match in ECW against Dr. Luther. There it oh. is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I heard that he was, um, that during uh, maybe like 98 ECW, he was teaming with Jerry Lynn. Uh, mm-hmm. And then he went on to like do some agent work backstage for ECW. So he's, you know, might have had who knows how much to do with the development of some of those guys mm-hmm. coming up. It's really interesting. So, Matt, Matt you yeah. want to go, go to Raw is War. <laughs> episode number 214 mm, yes tommy rogers versus bobby fulton yes i heard about this one i did hear about this while i was looking stuff up yeah was that was that during the ecw invasion no i believe it was during the smoky mountain invasion oh okay. boy i think, that they, seems, yeah, I think they brought them in to like be... work their light heavyweight division yeah. for like a match and that was but, it so. but it's a less than three minute time, burn yeah burner. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So okay, so so we got some notes here. I got my own notes that I have not gotten to Sorry. yet. We have the chat room notes what? as well. Uh, Tina's letting us know. Oh shit! You should watch Memphis Wrestling in Mid South Cornet. Uh, Mid South is where he got his head shaved. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Also, Marty Janetti and Tommy Rogers were a tag team in Central States Wrestling back in the day, tying a lot of that <laughs> together. Uh, and Cubby, not is sure al- I'm going, but Cubby is I'll also <laughs> uh, iterating Memphis <laughs> Memphis Cornet. It, it was yeah, the I best. Uh, I have my notes, so follow okay. follow along with me, please. Um, okay. uh, I, I I noticed that I would not be okay being in the cage myself, uh, because I'm afraid of heights, so would not be okay with that. Um, Matt, I don't know if you noticed uh the exposure being adjusted in the middle of the match. <laughs> I just <laughs> it's like they were having some issues, and I'm just <laughs> like, wow, this is like one of the biggest events from one of the biggest companies in the '80s. Okay, um, but the audience i noticed how far away the audience was was kind of interesting uh it feels kind of how new japan does it even still today uh with that uh because yeah the i guard did break. notice the complete absence of padding around the ring that was oh like, yeah just like enjoy the concrete well, floor yeah, to that he did <laughs> does that power <laughs> slam with him hanging on the ropes right to the floor like and that's he, if you don't hit a chair on the I, way I, I i felt that <laughs> that was rough yeah. oh my uh, god yeah. that was like uh, well let, let me see if you mention it during your notes and i'll, okay, I'll okay. mention one more thing if you um get uh the power slam the uh I, this felt like to me, for my perception, going into an '80s match. This felt like a really high movement, uh, 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 '80s match. 
you know, like there were points where they really got going. And like you said, with the flips and everything like that, you know, 80s, you know, but uh, at least mm-hmm. as far as that goes, I really enjoyed that. Um, I felt like we got right into a headlock move pretty quick, but we didn't stay in it as long as it felt like uh, hmm. that we were going to. Because I'm like, oh, great, there'll be a headlock. Like the crowd is eating it up because that's what we're we're, we're at with crowds and everything. And they, they're they're in that believing that run that guy to fight out. Uh, but but it it was a lot again, a lot more action than I expected for an 80s tag team express fabulous whatever they're called uh, uh kind of match <laughs> fantastic uh, fantastic <laughs> express match team, the fantastic team, uh, express yeah team fantastic. Um, uh, it's like the worst fantastic four spinoff yeah so oh. so just... <laughs> n- knowing especially you know a little bit about how what we deal with the pennsylvania athletic commission hearing about when new orleans louisiana louisiana athletic <laughs> commission things like that you know kind of pay attention to those a little bit more because of circumstances, there was a point in this where they pointed out yes. and then showed, <laughs> follow along with me, the Maryland Athletic Commission, um, <laughs> who apparently at some point approved the shark cage. <laughs> yes. Okay? Uh, Roll with me here. So yeah, yes. your athletic commission, this is the same commission, the very same commission that is they're taking weights at a boxing match and making sure you don't have shit on your gloves and face for a boxing yeah. match. Who approved a straight jacket and shark cage for a manager to be suspended 30? 30 feet? How high was he? Too much. Could have been too, at least 50. Too high, yeah, for, me. Too high for me. Like too high feet, for me. Maybe 90. 10 feet. Uh, six feet. Six feet equals fall protection. If I remember my safety videos were uh, uh, from the from the two thousands I worked on correctly. Uh, oh, safety. That's yeah, right. <laughs> There's a crossover, OSHA. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so so I just that they gave a lot of love to the athletic commission in these shows, and and I think they generally did a lot uh, uh, amongst especially NWA early WCW uh, when when you watch these big shows. Um, but uh, that just kind of stuck out for me. Also, I've never seen like a shirt take a, sh- a referee take a shirt off to to adjust for an eye gouge. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like, and, why is it? And, like, he got hit in the eye. Why is he taking his shirt off? So <laughs> the uh, the first and last time you've ever seen it, Professor. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so, and, well, so it's, it's okay. The, then that... they suspended him from the top of the cage the next match. Rob, go ahead. So it's funny that they would approve, yeah, approve the cage and straight jacket and stuff. But like, when you combine them, if the cage were to fall and he's restrained by his straight jacket, he can't even. I, that's a thing. Protect himself, right? If, right? Yeah. If if he does, he does. Yeah, so... he can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's he could free fall and just yeah, just have to eat it. So so there's that. So that was fun. Uh, either way, like it or hate it. I think we learned a lot, and now uh, 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 evil uh, mainstream Matt is going to be going on a Stan Lane uh, line. <laughs> no, 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 don't get, don't get it twisted, Sorgi. I mean, I like Stan Lane plenty. You know, he was all right. The one who talks um, on the Midnight Express as opposed to silent, mute Bobby Eaton. He's but, the road um, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Stan Lane, Mr. Charisma. Um, but um, I don't, you, you know, as you mentioned, there are multiple Great American Bash paper mm-hmm. games. That you could stumble into. I don't know if I was watching the Greensboro Hidden Gems version or if this actually happened in the actual match we were supposed to watch, but there was a <laughs> moment in one of these matches where the Fantastics get a steel chair. They unfold it. They place it in the middle of the ring, as you would if you were going to have someone sit in it, as a normal person would do. Mm-hmm. One of them hoists up Bobby Eaton and gives him an atomic drop, except he lands butt first directly onto the seat of the chair. Mm. Completely safe, right? Like mm-hmm. the least harmful high spot. Bobby Eaton's like, ah, my, he's like dead. The crowd's going berserk for this. I'm like, what a great, they need to bring this one back, you know? <laughs> safe, you know? There Good you go. pop. There you go. Please Fantastic. tell me he said, have a seat after you gave him the atomic drop. I couldn't hear the audio mm. as uh, sort of alluded mm. to the. Pr- Television and audio production was not quite there. No. But you know what? There, the, the the live event, I mean, the, you could tell the crew, I mean, I'm sure Sorg 